We do want to turn to a new development in the investigations into teen violence. Well, we have learned a second teen has been indicted in connection to the brutal attack of another teen in the East Valley. A Maricopa County grand jury has indicted 18 year old Aris Arredondo. He is now facing charges of aggravated robbery, aggravated assault for his role, his alleged role in an attack at a Gilbert in and out that happened in August. He is the second person charged in this attack and last week 18 year old Christopher Fantastic was also charged. Police say two 16 year olds have also been arrested for their roles, but they have not been publicly identified due to the fact that they are minors. And Monday evening our 12 news town hall really focused in on this issue of teen violence in our community and trying to come up with some solutions. Yeah, everybody coming together including a panel of experts, community members, and 12 News journalists to open this conversation and share some ideas for possible solutions, like you mentioned. So let's bring in 12 News journalist Jen Wall. Right now, she's joining us live from Gilbert. And Jen, you've been taking us through the key moments from the evening, if anyone missed it. So what are some of those? Yeah, good morning to you. I think one of the biggest takeaways as a parent watching the town hall last night is that it is so important to have that open door of communication from a young age all the way through those teenage years when it can be a lot tougher, when kids are dealing with social media and bullying and all kinds of things. That was something that was talked about quite a bit last night and definitely hit home for me. So we had panelists last night that joined our 12 News journalists. We had a representative from the NAACP silent witness, uh, Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb, the mayor of Queen Creek, among others that were all there with the same goal in mind to help make our community safer and help crack down on this issue of teen violence that we're seeing here in the East Valley. The 12 News Town Hall held at Chandler Gilbert Community College lasted about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes last night. It addressed the root causes of teen violence in the community, why it's been happening and why it continues to happen. Experts and concerned parents also addressing the police response to the problems, the impact of social media on teen violence, how parents can help and more. The town hall coming together nearly three months after police say 16 year old Preston Lord was beaten to death outside of a Queen Creek Halloween party. There was a sea of orange last night once again uh, sitting in the audience of well as well in support of Lord and his family. Since then more acts of teen violence have come to light in our community and seven people adults and juveniles have been included in the recommended charges in the Lord case Lord's death leaving the community heartbroken, many feeling there's a lack of justice here. Now, former gang member Eric Hebert, he was part of the panel. He shared a unique perspective of growing up in gangs and then spending time in prison for his actions. Today, Hebert says he's turned his life around. He has a family of his own. He shared insight last night into potentially why the teens are committing the attacks in the East Valley, while Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb shed light on one way his team is helping Valley teens get their lives back on track. These kids must be very hurt. They must be very hurt. They're, they're looking for something from their parents, something from the community, something, you know, just, it's, it's not normal to do these things. Right. You you know, know, we, can I just, yeah. you know, we started, uh, when I came as sheriff, we started seeing a lot of these issues with kids, and so we started a youth redirection program. Um, they just were really struggling with finding some identity. They were hurt. Mm -hmm. And when, I when we would embrace them and, and try to bring the light out of them is when you would really start to see them come through. We've had over 200 kids go through this program since I started. We've had five reoffend in that amount wow. of time. Wow. That's so awesome. That's great. Man, I know we may have some resistance. The town of Gilbert taking action right now to crack to try to crack down on the issue too. It's trying to address the teen violence. They created a subcommittee that first met last week, and now today group members will provide an update at the Gilbert Town Council meeting. The first teen violence subcommittee meeting was held at the end of last week, and the Gilbert subcommittee addressing the violence talked about banning brass knuckles, getting schools more involved in the issue, among other options. The committee is made up of council members 
Rose, Chuck Bongiovanni, Jim Torgensen, and Vice Mayor Scott Anderson. Now, at tonight's 6.30 p.m. town council meeting in Gilbert, the subcommittee's agenda shows they plan to talk about goals, conducting a youth violence survey, creating those listening sessions, and Chief Solberg of the Gilbert Police Department is expected to share youth violence stats and community stats, too. So stay with 12 News. We are expected to be there, and we'll bring you the latest from that meeting. If you missed the 12 News Town Hall, you can still watch it right now on YouTube. It's on our website, 12news.com. Just click on the link. For now, we're live in Gilbert. Jen Wall, 12 News, Today in AC.